Hey, it's Justin from Gold Penguin, and today I'm going to show you how to create a really beautiful navigation menu similar to this that Breakdance has on their main website in a Breakdance website. So we'll head over to our builder and let's get started. So in our builder, we're going to add a new section. Uh, I'm currently editing a header template, so this page will be shown on every single page on my website. Um, if you don't know how to do this, we have other tutorials on that. I could also link those in the description. Um, so yeah, once you create your header, you'll have a section and in here, um, I mean, well, it really depends on what you want to do. Like we could add all of these options. Um, I'm just going to really show you guys the, the features one today, um, but these are the easiest ones to do. So what we'll do is you add a menu builder inside of here, which is going to bring up a default menu like this. Pretty cool. If you hover over this, you could kind of change these how you want. Um, products is the closest one to what we're going to be doing, as you could see here. But we are going to make one and we'll, let's call it features today. Okay, so in your menu drop down, it's right here. It's this menu builder and you have all these elements in it. You have the menu link, which is just a straight up text. It's home. This is going to go wherever you want. You can't really do much with it. You have a menu drop down, which is what we're going to be using. It's the really cool dynamic menu. Then we have a menu custom drop down. So in here, you can put whatever you want. Uh, the custom drop down is, uh, in my opinion, great for like a login or register button, which we also have a tutorial on um, conditional formatting. So you could actually have two of these tabs. You could have a, um, a login and a register, or let's just say you have a, a sign up kind of tab. And then you can show this to users that are not logged in. And when they click on this, there's the form to sign in to Breakdance. Not to Breakdance, to your website, but using Breakdance. So yeah, that's what that's used for. So. We're going to go ahead and add a menu drop down into our builder, which we will do menu drop down. Okay. And then I'm going to drag this to the beginning because we're going to pretend this is the most important and we're going to call this features. I'm going to try to mirror this as close as I can to Breakdance's website, but I don't know how to get the icon. So we're going to just mess around. So in here, you can add a link to this, which if you click on this, it'll go there. But I don't recommend that for if you have a drop down, you kind of want your users to see that there's more in it. So they'll click this and get this list. Um, I'd keep standalone links separately, but again, up to you. Um, in here, we're going to have columns. And so columns is what gets featured onto this one. It goes one, two. Um, we could add a third column if we want to and add a bunch of stuff here. See how long we can make this. Um, yeah, but we're going to be sticking to these two. So I'm actually going to be deleting both of these just to start over. Okay, now that both of those columns are done, we're going to go and add two of these. Um, nothing is going to show until we start getting them made. But if we look back here, we're going to have WooCommerce and we're going to have design and build. So let's do those two. So we'll start off with WooCommerce. Oops, actually, these don't have titles. So the title is going to be kind of like labeling the section. So I'm going to label these section one and section two just to uh, kind of give you all a visual of what it's going to look like. Um, that's, that's the title. So none of these fields are going to be required, but we're just going to show you to uh, make it a little easier. So in here, we can add a link. And this is actually going to be what people are going to click on. So this will be called WooCommerce. And then your shop, your way. I don't really know what it says, but we could go with that. So we'll do that. And then we'll have this link to, let's just do goldpenguin.com uh, or .org. Okay. So that's there and we can add an image to this. This is image. This is, um, I mean, an icon, that's a picture. So image or I, <laughs> icon image in icon, go ahead and go through all of these. You can kind of look up whatever you want to do. You can upload files. Um, there's a lot of cards that are already put in here just for UI sake. I'd kind of recommend you keep them the same. So let's do WooCommerce as a credit card and then we can go into advanced graphic. This is really never ending. Um, and then inside here, icon, which this will all style this graphic. So let's say we want WooCommerce to be green. Uh, that actually looks terrible. Let's do red. So that looks terrible too. So there you go. Something like that, where you have WooCommerce, you shop your way. And what other things could we do? We could change alignment size if you want to make it like huge. Um, it's kind of weird, but yeah. So you could really change whatever you want. You have full control over it. And I'd say that's pretty much it with this individual thing. So when we're done here, we can go and add into our second section, which is going to say um, design and build powerful features in a simple UI. Okay, design and build. So inside here, we're gonna add a link, design and build, and then description, I already forgot. Okay, 
So same thing, we can add a URL here. Let's just bring it to the home this time, to your main website. Uh, you could also link this and go to any other page on your website here if you don't wanna type it in from scratch. So that's pretty easy to do. You could search for content if you got a bunch of pages. Um, but yeah, so figure out what that URL is gonna be. Let's add this icon again. And for this one, we will do, let's do the this airplane logo. So design and build, go here and we can change the graphic to be I guess we could do orange this time. But again, you can kind of figure this out style however you want to do it. Um, I am not going to build it one to one, but it's kind of to get the gist of it. And so now the, the biggest question is, let's close all this so that we can see it. So we got section one, section two. Um, and it's like, how do we bold this or how do we change these things? Well, luckily um, in the second tab, which is the art tab, um, I would say the first one is going to be where you make the content. The second one's going to be generally where you style things. Uh, we're going to edit that and we're going to change some settings here. So in this tab, if we go into oops, into links, um, we can go into title. And so this is going to be the title where it says WooCommerce and design and build. If we go into title and we change our weight, weight is basically how thick do you want the font to be? It's kind of another word for like bold, not bold, whatever you want to do. Um, I guess weight kind of makes sense because it's like how heavy do you want it to be? So if we change this to 600, we can see that WooCommerce and Design and Build are going to get kind of bolded, even though there's not really a bold option. And there's a lot of other options that we could change here too. So these are global. So this is going to change for every single title that we have here. If we do, you know, red or if we do um, whatever we want to do. But um, yeah, just keep that in mind. And okay, we'll be done here. So personally, I kind of hate section one and section two. So I'm going to go back and delete the titles from these because I think they kind of mess up the ordering of it. Um, and so now you can go like this and let's save this and preview it. And just like that, you now have your two uh, menu options here. And so if we compare this to breakdance, we can see it's kind of similar in that way. Um, the icon does look like it's a little bit bigger uh, in general. So let's see if we could do that here, graphic. So we could style these uh, total. If we change the size, let's do 24. You can see that these icons are getting bigger individually. So the, the one in here, when we actually are editing like WooCommerce, Your Shop Your Way, that's gonna be just for that element. But if we wanna change everything for all of these, we're gonna go into the art tab and we have the title, description, graphic. We could do spacing, padding, all of these options, pretty cool. So we'll keep the size at 24. And now one more thing is if you want to add the all features button, which is at the bottom here, it's kind of a little different style. So what we, we have a very cool option in the editing tab where we can show another section. So we could keep building the column out, but that's gonna get left to right and keep going. But if we add another section, we have this beautiful, beautiful thing under here. And so it works the same way. We can add a column. I'm not adding a title this time too. And we can call this, let's say, all features. And then view all the features our website has to offer. And just like that, looks really cool. I wouldn't use the blue, um, but you know, figure out what URL you want. You don't have to add an icon if you kind of want it to look a little different. And I'm gonna go back and change the title to be black just for simplicity. And boom, just like that, you have a really beautiful working navigation bar. Let's refresh this. And just like that, pretty cool. Looks pretty similar to this. You can customize this uh, to your liking if you want to make you know 10 of these. And other than that, let me see if I missed anything. Um, we could do some more spacing, but no, I think, uh, I think it looks pretty good. If you wanna kind of separate in between the graphic and the text, you could do that. Um, and if you want to do between the actual links themselves, oh, that's not working, but, uh, I would think this would go in between here, but, uh, or it'd be down actually, cause we don't have anything below it, but yeah, um, that's pretty much how you do it. And then in here, I guess the last thing I'll show is inside this column. If you want, if you have one of these styled out into a way that you want and you just want to duplicate them, all you do is click this and you can click this as many times as you want. And now you have four of them. And then same thing if you go to column two, you can click the duplicate, you know, as many times as you want. And so pretty cool, you know, have this working shot. We could save it and let's preview it one last time. And just like that, you have a beautiful working menu bar on your website that you can design to your liking. So hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or subscribe. More tutorials coming soon and have a great day.